the professional prior to his appearance today regarding answering questions from the House. Mr. Firth. Mr. Speaker, yes, I did. I consulted yesterday. Mr. 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 Speaker, is Mr. Firth comfortable sharing what the doctor told him? Mr. Firth. Mr. Speaker, um, yes, I am. I'm supposed to not participate in any activity that would call any undue stress uh, to myself as being diagnosed uh, with having acute mental health flare-ups, um, actively under therapy and also under medication. The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, was the information about Mr. Firth's medical condition shared with the House of Commons Administration? Mr. Firth. Sorry, can you answer the question again, please? Certainly, by all means. The Honourable... One moment. I just want to make sure the time. The Honourable Government House Leader. Was the information about Mr. Firth's medical condition shared with the House of Commons Administration? Mr. Firth. Mr. Speaker, we, we shared it with the clerk. The, government, the Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, this information is consistent with what was shared with all recognized parties yesterday, individually by the law clerk and parliamentary council, that Mr. Firth's health is fragile and that a doctor has provided a note recommending that Mr. Firth does, Firth does not participate in activities such as the questioning today for mental and physical health reasons. Monsieur le Président, Mr. Speaker, this information is consistent with what has been communicated yesterday by the Council and to all recognized party that Mr. Firth's health is fragile and that a doctor has provided a note recommending that Mr. Firth do not participate in activities such as the questioning today for mental and physical health reasons. That Mr. Firth understands that he will have to answer questions and is prepared to do so once his health allows it. I want to be crystal clear. We believe that what happened with the Arrive Can app is unacceptable. We want to assure that all unanswered questions receive answers. That, that is an important principle of this House. That is why we supported the motion that brings Mr. Firth here today. We want to get to the bottom of this issue, and we want to ensure that committees are respected. I want to be very clear. We consider that what has happened with the Arrive Can app is unacceptable. We want to ensure that all the questions that have been unanswered will get an answer. This is an important principle of the House. That is why we supported the motion that has brought Mr. Firth here today. We want to get to the bottom of the situation, and we want to ensure that the committees are respected. All recognized parties were in individually informed of options to delay the questioning component of today's proceedings until Mr. Firth has been medically cleared to participate and only the Conservatives refuse. On this side of the House, we do not believe that it is appropriate to question Mr. Firth if he is not medically able to participate. We want this to be done in a way that respects the dignity of Parliament and forcing someone against medical advice to do something that a doctor believes could harm their treatment and recovery is indeed beneath the dignity of this place. We want this to happen with respect for dignity of Parliament and forcing somebody against their doctor's advice to do something that, according to the doctor, could uh, undermine their treatment and their healing is uh, not worthy of this House. ...demonstration of his character, and Canadians should pay careful attention. The Honourable Government House Leader. I'll repeat the last sentence, Mr. Speaker. Order 
The leader of the opposition is. The Honourable Opposition House Leader. Mr. Sorry, Chair, wait. the Honourable the Honourable Member from uh, South Surrey, Government Whitewall. House Leader is purposely causing disorder in this That's House. Right. You right. just asked every person here to keep their conduct calm and within the dignity of the House for these extraordinary proceedings. He is saying things that were in a medical certificate that weren't there because we had House leaders' discussion on this, and now he is using the opportunity to attack the official opposition. This is inappropriate, and it causes discord in this House, right. and it will cause disruption on a continuing basis. I ask you, Mr. Speaker, to please ask the government House Leader to conduct himself within the dignity and within the four squares of this extraordinary situation and not continue down this path. Thank you. I thank, I thank the Honourable from uh, uh, South Surrey White Rock uh, for, for, for raising this issue. Um, I see that the Honourable Member from Regina Capel is also rising on his feet for point of order. Uh, on the same point of order, I think it's very important uh, for you to understand how we got here. Uh, it is important to, to know that the witness was offered accommodations uh, that have been granted and that should there be further accommodations requested in terms of breaks or, uh, or any type of need to consult with any professional, that we have signaled our uh, absolute cooperation with that. Uh, these are very similar to the accommodations that the witness requested when it took months for him to respond to a committee invitation and further summons. These were the same accommodations that were provided when he finally did testify uh, just recently, Mr. Speaker, and that is how we arrived at where we are today. I believe the dignity of this House, the ability for parliamentarians to do their jobs on behalf of taxpayers, on behalf of the taxpayers, many of whom lost every single cent they had during the lockdown, on behalf of the thousands of Canadians who were ordered into uh, uh, quarantine because of this app, it's essentially going to so. I thank the member from Regina Capella. I thank the member from uh, South Surrey right, White Rock for raising these points. And I would like to emphasize uh, to all members the importance of us conducting our, ourselves. Canadians are clearly watching this historic event, and they would expect us to conduct ourselves befitting to the occasion. With that in mind, I invite the Honourable uh, Government House Leader to finish his remarks. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Indeed, you have pointed out uh, in your remarks earlier just how unprecedented this is. Uh, we supported uh, this initiative, but we regret that it's come to this. And when we received the information that all parties were privy to, uh, we made what I think is the responsible decision. And I think what you've just seen across the aisle is very confirmation of what I've been saying. Thank you very much. I will take it then that we will move on to 